sound introduction sound like heat and light is a form of energy sound travels in waves waves are vibrations that occur in a material as sound passes through it when we listen to someone speak our ears detect sound waves in the air around us caused by the person's vibrating vocal cords sound is produced by the compression and rarefaction of matter sound waves are mechanical waves they move through air because a vibrating source produces regular variations in air pressure this lesson features the kinds of wave motions free and forced vibrations resonance and acoustics of buildings sound is produced by a vibrating body take a metal plate or a shallow pan hang it at a convenient place in such a way that it does not touch any wall now strike it with a stick touch the plate or pan gently with your finger do you feel the vibrations again strike the plate with the stick and hold it tightly with your hands immediately after striking do you still hear the sound touch the plate after it stops producing sound can you feel the vibrations now take a rubber band put it around the longer side of a pencil box insert two pencils between the box and the stretched rubber now pluck the rubber band somewhere in the middle do you hear any sound does the band vibrate to and fro or back and forth motion of an object is called vibration when a tightly stretched band is plucked it vibrates and produces sound when it stops vibrating it does not produce any sound propagation of sound through liquids take a bucket full of water press your ear to the outer side of the bucket as shown now strike two metal spoons or stones against each other under the surface of the water can you hear the sound you hear the sound loud and clear showing that sound can travel through water kinds of musical instruments if you had to draw a picture representing sound what would you draw maybe something like this sound is a wave similar to the ripples on a pond or the ocean waves you might see crashing on a beach we infer that sound is a vibration or wave of air molecules caused by the motion of an object sound can be produced by the following methods plucking sound can be produced by plucking a stretched ring example veena guitar sitar or tambura bowing or rubbing some stringed instruments are not plucked instead a bow is played on the strings example a violin striking sound can also be produced by striking one object on another examples drums tabla mridangam these are called percussion instruments blowing musical instruments like flute nataswaram trumpet clarinet etc produce sound when air is blown into them kinds of musical instruments take 6 to 8 bowls or tumblers fill them with water up to different levels increasing gradually from one end to the other now take a pencil and strike the bowls gently strike all of them in succession you will hear pleasant sounds this is your jal tarang sound produced by humans speak loudly for a while or sing a song or buzz like a bee put your hand on your throat do you feel any vibration in humans the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx put your fingers on the throat and find a hard lump that seems to move when you swallow this part of the body is known as the voice box two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box or larynx in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for the passage of air when the lungs force air through the slit the vocal cords vibrate producing sound muscles attached to the vocal cords 
can make the chords tight or loose. When the vocal cords are tight and thin, the type or quality of voice is different from that when they are loose and thick. Children have very short vocal cords. This is the reason why the voices of men, women and children are different. Sound needs a medium for propagation. Take a metal glass tumbler. Make sure that it is dry. Place a cell phone in it. Remember that the cell phone must not be kept in water. Ask your friend to give a ring on this cell phone from another cell phone. Listen to the ring carefully. Now, surround the rim of the tumbler with your hand as shown. Put your mouth on the opening between your hands. Indicate to your friend to give a ring again. Listen to the ring while sucking air from the tumbler. Does the sound become fainter as you suck air? Remove the tumbler from your mouth. Indeed, if you had been able to suck all the air in the tumbler, the sound would stop completely. Actually, sound needs a medium to travel. When air has been removed completely from a vessel, it is said that there is a vacuum in the vessel. The sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Take a bucket or a bathtub. Fill it with clean water. Take a small bell in one hand. Shake this bell inside the water to produce sound. Make sure that the bell does not touch the body of the bucket or the tub. Place your ear gently on the water surface. Can you hear the sound of the bell? It indicates that sound can travel through liquids. Sound can travel through solids also. Perform the above activity by placing your ear at one end of a long wooden or metallic table and asking your friend to gently scratch the other end of the table. We find that sound can travel through wood or metal. In fact, sound can travel through any solid. We hear sound through our ears. The shape of the outer part of the ear is like a funnel. When sound enters it, it travels down a canal, at the end of which a thin membrane is stretched tightly. It is called the eardrum. It performs an important function. The eardrum is like a stretched rubber sheet. Sound vibration makes the eardrum vibrate. The eardrum sends vibrations to the inner ear. From there, the signal goes to the brain. That is how we hear. Definition Frequency and Amplitude The number of oscillations per second is called the frequency of oscillation. Frequency is expressed in hertz. Its symbol is HZ. A frequency of 1 hertz is 1 oscillation per second. Amplitude and frequency are two important properties of any sound. Loudness and Pitch Loudness of sound is proportional to the square of the amplitude of the vibration producing the sound. For example, if the amplitude becomes twice, the loudness increases by a factor of 4. The loudness is expressed in a unit called decibel. DB. The following table gives some idea of the loudness of sound coming from various sources. The loudness of sound depends on its amplitude. When the amplitude of vibration is large, the sound produced is loud. When the amplitude is small, the sound produced is feeble. Take a metallic tumbler and a tablespoon. Strike the tablespoon gently at the brim of the tumbler. Hear the sound produced. Now bang the spoon on the tumbler and hear the sound produced again. Is the sound louder when the tumbler is struck hard? Now suspend a small thermocol ball touching the rim of the tumbler. Vibrate the tumbler by striking it. See how far the ball is displaced. The displacement of the ball is a measure of the amplitude of vibrations of the tumbler in the two cases. The frequency determines the shrillness or pitch of a sound. If the frequency of vibration is higher, we say that the sound is shrill and has a higher pitch. 
If the frequency of vibration is lower, we say that the sound has a lower pitch. For example, a drum vibrates with a low frequency. Therefore, it produces a low-pitched sound. On the other hand, a whistle has a high frequency and therefore produces a sound of higher pitch. A bird makes a high-pitched sound whereas a lion makes a low-pitched roar. However, the roar of a lion is very loud while the sound of the bird is quite feeble. Usually, the voice of women have a higher frequency and is shriller than that of a man. Audible and Inaudible Sounds The fact is that sound of frequencies less than about 20 vibrations per second, that is 20 hertz, cannot be detected by the human ear. Such sounds are called inaudible. On the higher side, sounds of frequencies higher than about 20,000 vibrations per second, that is 20 kilohertz, are also not audible to the human ear. Thus, for human ear, the range of audible frequencies is roughly from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Some animals can hear sounds of frequencies higher than 20,000 hertz. Dogs have this ability. The police use high-frequency whistles which dogs can hear but humans can't. The ultrasound equipment, familiar to us for investigating and tracking many medical problems, work at frequencies higher than 20,000 hertz. Noise and Music Unpleasant sounds are called noise. In a classroom, if all the students speak together, what would the sound produced be called? On the other hand, you enjoy sounds from musical instruments. Musical sound is one which is pleasing to the ear. Sound produced by guitar, violin and flute are musical sounds. Noise pollution and its control. Noise is unwanted sound. Noise can be produced by many sources. Man's vocal cord, a running engine, a vibrating loudspeaker diaphragm, an operating machine tool and so on. Noise levels can be measured in decibel. To control noise, it is necessary to prevent it from spreading in all directions. Carpets, draperies and curtains are porous and absorb sound waves. Soundproofing materials can be fixed on walls and ceilings of rooms to help absorb excess sound. Harms of Noise Pollution Presence of excessive noise in the surrounding may cause many health-related problems. Lack of sleep, hypertension, high blood pressure, anxiety and many more health disorders may be caused by noise pollution. A person who is exposed to a loud sound continuously may get temporary or even permanent impairment of hearing. Measures to Limit Noise Pollution when two sound waves of slightly different frequencies traveling in the same direction interfere, they combine to give waves whose resultant intensity changes between a minimum and a maximum. This variation in intensity brings waxing and waning of sound. The waxing and waning of sound at regular intervals of time are called the beats.